Tottenham Hotspur will face London rivals Chelsea in the Carabao Cup semi-finals in early January. Stephen Bergvine on his opportunity under Antonio Conte. Two Boxing Day Premier League games have already been postponed. And a former Arsenal midfielder, now TV pundit, has come out and said that Antonio Conte is going to win trophies at Tottenham Hotspur in the next two years. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. So first up, let's talk about the Carabao Cup. We have been drawn against Chelsea in the semi-finals of this season's Carabao Cup. In a repeat of the 2018-2019 semis, we will meet the Blues for a place in the final after we sort off West Ham United 2-1 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Wednesday night. And Chelsea defeated Brentford 2-0 also on Wednesday evening. Uh, we also met Chelsea in the fourth round of the competition last season, beating them on penalties at home en route to the final. Arsenal will face Liverpool in the other tie. The semi-finals are scheduled to take place over two legs in the weeks commencing at the 3rd and the 10th of January 2022. As the team drawn out first, Chelsea uh, will play the first game at home at Stamford Bridge with the return match at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium the following week. Exact times and uh, dates uh, will follow in due course. Look out for official announcements from Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Now, my thoughts on the game against West Ham and the semi-final draw. Of course, we will play at Chelsea. Um, you know, the West Ham game, I thought, was fantastic. Tottenham Hotspur delivered yet again. Antonio Conte delivered, uh, you know, opportunities to a number of Tottenham Hotspur players yet again. And they took them. And we have seen so many times, certainly in the last couple of seasons, where players... You know, we all thought that they would take opportunities and they haven't. And I think that, uh, you know, the arrival of Antonio Conte, and I've said this many times before, he has energised the team, he has energised every member of staff and he has energised all of us Tottenham Hotspur fans. You know, six, seven weeks ago under Nuno Espirito Santo, it didn't look like Tottenham were going to do anything this season, you know, let alone get a... Uh, a European place for next season or go far in a cup competition. And uh, and now it looks like, you know, he has transformed this club. It now looks like that we are really challenging for the top four. It looks like we can really challenge, uh, you know, for a cup this season. The Carabao Cup, we're now in the last four. Um, you know, going on to the draw, Arsenal, Liverpool or Chelsea we could have faced and we've uh, drawn Chelsea. I think it's a good draw for Spurs, you know, Really, you know, all, all three teams were going to be very, very difficult to play against. Um, but I think we've got to believe now, whoever we play, we've got to believe and go into games with confidence because the way Antonio Conte is setting up this Tottenham Hotspur team, no matter what personnel are in the starting eleven, he is getting them playing. He is getting them uh, firing on all cylinders. You know, we've been really sport as Tottenham Hotspur fans this last week. That game against Liverpool uh, last weekend in the Premier League, you know, we should have won. Uh, we should have put, uh, you know, many, many chances away. Uh, that we missed, uh, but what an entertaining game of football. Now, you think under Nuno Espirito Santo, what, seven weeks ago, we weren't even having a shot on target, and now we are challenging for the top four, and we are in a semi-final of a major competition. I want this trophy. I really, really do. The trophies are way overdue at this club. Last trophy that we won was the League Cup back in 2008, so fingers crossed. It was a great night for Stephen Bergwijn on Wednesday. One goal and one assist. His first start under Antonio Conte. And after the game, Stephen Bergwijn said, it's always nice to get a goal and, a, and an assist. I didn't play for a while. OK, maybe 10 minutes. But it's different when you start a game. After the goal, it went all right. I think I'm happy. It's my quality uh, to go one-on-one. -on -one. And the coach said to me, when you get the opportunity, do it. I saw the space and I did it. 
Bergwijn then went on to say the coach said before that the players who start need to give him answers. At the beginning of the game, I lost a couple of easy balls, but after that, I think I did a better job. I'm just happy with the win. We knew we'd have to fight until the end, and the second half was more about fighting uh, than playing football, but that's what we needed in this game. It's one game, one chance. Now, my thoughts on Stephen Bergwijn's comments there, and so many players have come out and said virtually the same thing. Antonio Conte is clearly saying to these players, if you're starting games for me, then deliver. Take your opportunity. And we are really seeing that as Tottenham Hotspur fans now. Now, early on in, I know Antonio Conte has been, uh, you know, Tottenham Hotspur coach for only seven weeks, but early on um, in his career at Spurs, you know, he gave a number of opportunities to players who played in the Mura game in the Europa Conference League. None of them took their opportunities that night. But ever since that night, um, I think that they would have been, uh, you know, they would have received a real bollocking from uh, Antonio Conte that night. And, uh, you know, ever since then, I've seen every single player deliver and give absolutely everything. And this is exactly what we want to see going forward. I'm very excited because if Antonio Conte, uh, you know, for what he's done in seven weeks, imagine what he's going to do in seven months' time. Imagine what he's going to do um, after the January transfer window, if we do some business. Imagine what he can do after the summer transfer window, when all of us are expecting, you know, a lot of signings, good quality players coming in. So I think exciting times are ahead and I'm really looking forward to it. Earlier today, it was announced by the Premier League that two games due to take place on Boxing Day have now been postponed due to COVID-19 issues. Uh, games off are Liverpool against Leeds and Wolves against Watford. The other games will go ahead at the moment. Burnley against Everton, Manchester City against Leicester, Norwich Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur v Crystal Palace, West Ham v Southampton, Aston Villa v Chelsea and Brighton against Brentford. It's going to be another very busy week for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club when we return to Premier League action on the 26th on Boxing Day against Crystal Palace at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, 3pm kickoff, as I've mentioned. Uh, we will then be in action 48 hours later away at Southampton, also a 3pm kickoff. And then four days later on Saturday, the 1st of January, we'll be travelling to Vicarage Road, the home of Watford. Uh, that one is also a 3pm kickoff. So three games in seven days. Former Arsenal midfielder Paul Merson now, of course, works with the Daily Star, writes columns for them, and of course is a pundit on Sky Sports. He has written his article in the Daily Star today, uh, talking about Antonio Conte, and he believes that Antonio Conte will deliver trophies at Tottenham Hotspur very soon. Merson said Tottenham are going to win trophies with Antonio Conte. They have finally found the right manager. I'd be shocked if they don't win silverware in the next two years with him in charge, because you can see it's starting to click for them, and Conte is going for it in the Carabao Cup. They will take the competition more seriously than anyone else. They haven't won anything in years and to get to the final last time, they want to win it and winning it this year would be absolutely massive for them. Spurs are an unbelievable football club playing in an unbelievable stadium. Where do you want to go? The players have woken up and smelt the coffee. In his column, Paul Merson said Conte just needs to get that winning mentality. They needed someone like him to give them a good kick up the backside. You can already see what he's brought. Players do fight for him. I think it's exciting times for Spurs. That game against Liverpool the other day was mind-blowing. You didn't want it to end. Uh, and then they follow it up with a big win in the cup against a good West Ham team. He then went on to say Antonio Conte has got everyone believing. You can see it and he's got the top players working hard too. That team is made to play on the counter-attack with pace. Before under Jose Mourinho and Nuno Espirito Santo, they were too placid. I think Mourinho had lost his edge when he got to Tottenham and with Nuno, the players just weren't listening. Later on in the column, Paul Merson said this is a massive chance for Spurs to get to the final and in a one-off game at Wembley, anything can happen. Spurs need to win this competition. There's only so many trophies you can win every year and they're already out of Europe. If they can win this trophy, it lifts the club and everyone starts buying into what Antonio Conte is about. It could really be the start of something good. He then added, when they brought into things under Maurizio Pochettino, it took them all the way to the Champions League final. So Antonio Conte has got them believing that kind of thing is possible again. Now, my thoughts on Paul Merson's comments. I'll tell you what, I want a recording of Paul Merson saying the following. Tottenham are going to win trophies with Antonio Conte and Spurs are an unbelievable football club. Absolutely love these comments from Paul Merson. And I'll tell you what, I think a lot of pundits, I think a lot of other 
teams, fans are extremely worried about what Tottenham Hotspur are going to do in the next couple of years with Antonio Conte. Because as I keep saying, you know, this dramatic change um, at this football club in just seven weeks, I am excited. Thanks, Chris. And hello to everybody watching. I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly Spurs prizes that we run on the site. Some of our previous Spurs prizes range from the likes of signed shirts and boots and mounts from players such as Harry Kane, Son Hyun Min and Lucas, right through to club legends like Paul Gascoigne and Jurgen Klinsmann. You can watch the live draws on our Facebook page and you can go on our site and see the previous Spurs winners as well as what prizes we have to offer at www.footballprizes.co.uk. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs.